What is up, everybody? My name is Bochan, and welcome to Upper Tale. Um, so last time, we left off on, like, a, an eh ending, wasn't it? Oh, what the fuck is happening? Whoa. I, for some reason, am... He looked into the closet's full stro- Okay, then, um, that was weird. That was a little strange. Alright, anyways. Um, last time we got where we phased away, and I think that's just kind of the ending we got, which... I don't think it's that great. And here's Toriel making butterscotch pie and cin cinnamon pie. There we go. So I thought about it earlier, but like, wouldn't it be so delicious if like there was a butterscotch like pie, like cinnamon pie cake hybrid thing? Wouldn't that be so good? <sighs> that sounds delicious. <laughs> it sounds so yummy. Um, so I think what kind of kicks things into gears is talking to Sans, but I'm not sure. So, I think we're gonna do that. I mean, I don't know if maybe going to Alpha's also immediately just kind of triggers it, but, um, let's talk to her anyways, just to double check. Hey, hey Frisk, good morning. I'm just standing here enjoying the sunlight. It feels great. Well, uh, get, catch you later. No, yeah, we gotta go talk to Sansi, because, um, he's, he's the one that knows what's up, and he's gonna be staring at those, those lovely trees. So we're gonna, we're gonna do just that. Um, we should save. I don't know. It would probably be a good thing to do that. Oh no, I'm under attack by a frog it. We talked frog, didn't understand a word, but was delighted anyway. Um, I think you can actually do a genocide run, because last time Fly was like, hey, and I was like, hey, I'm not in the mood to kill anyone today, so I think I'll pass. I love everybody. I couldn't harm anyone, even if I wanted to. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, I love how it says get the fuck out. Instead of sparing, just get the fuck out. Like, you're not feeling like dealing with it today. Um, let's talk to Froggit. Froggit is so cute. It doesn't understand a word, but was delighted anyway. If I was in Harry Potter, I'd have Froggit as a pet. <laughs> Are there even owls in Undertale? Well, monster-wise. Are there any monsters that look like owls? And there's that bird that I don't remember the name of that looks like a icicle, wintry, fairy. Wimpson approached smoothly. Aww. You tell Wimpson that everything is alright. It seems, it seems less nervous. Poor little Wimpson. I think we just stay right here pretty comfortably. Wimpson kind of like it. Like, if Fluttershy could be a, a monster from Undertale, she would be Wimpson. Basically. Hey, huh? Oh, hey, yeah. He turned around without us, with us not even having to get close to him. He was just like, I know you're there. How's it going? I've just been standing here, looking at these beautiful trees. I wouldn't have expected them to be so interesting, but I just can't stop staring at them. I'm stumped by it. <laughs> I think these trees really spruce up the place. Of course they do. <laughs> Wanna go to Grillby's? It should be open by now. Come on, let's go. My tree. Alright. I love this music. Hey, look, it's Grilbs! He's so cute! <laughs> He's so cute. Look at him. He's adorable. He's a little flame head. Hey, I wanted to chat about something. So when I was standing around back there, I wasn't really there for the trees. <gasps> I had no idea, Sons. Please enlighten me what you were doing. Don't get me wrong. The trees are very nice to look at. What I was really doing was thinking. I was thinking about timelines. Recently, they've been jumping left and right, stopping and starting. You, uh, you wouldn't happen to know anything about this, would ya? Let's tell them that we do. You do? Let me guess. You're the reason they are, right? I kind of thought, hey, I need you to promise me something. Promise me you won't reset everything. I know I hate keeping promises, so it sounds pretty hypocritical, but this is important. Thanks. I appreciate it. I just don't want to lose everything again, you know? Aww. Well, now that that's out of the way, do you want anything? No? You sure? Alright then, you can go now. I'm just gonna order some ketchup. Hey, girl, be one bottle of ketchup, please. Put it on my tab. Already. <laughs> uh, I wonder if that even changes anything significantly. I need to see Metaton. Where is he? Where's my robotic husband that is totally trash and that I totally do not like? Where is he? I know he's in his house, actually, but... I were checking. I thought he was gonna be in like the pink house, but he was in the in the purple house. So I was like, okay, alrighty. Um, the school isn't open. Nothing is open. The library is not open. Um, so I guess now we're just we're just gonna go with Alpha. Yeah, there she is. 
Uh, hi, Frisk. I was wondering if you'd like to come over to my house. I need you to test something for me. It's really important. Come on, no time to waste. Alright, Alphys, what you got for me? Uh, Alright, welcome to my home. So the thing that I wanted you to test is my new lab, otherwise known as my basement. C come on in. Somehow, her having a- like, her lab in the basement is like- it's- it's really befitting. <laughs> It'd be really cute if like every like Sunday or every like Saturday or something they had like a Dungeon Dragons like meeting. There's just a table in Alphys's lab. <laughs> Everyone's just sitting there playing Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> uh, where is she? Is she here? Yeah, there she is. Okay, oh, I'm staring at the wall. How rude of me. The thing I needed you to test is that time machine. I made it so that we can discover more about the past and uh... Oh, who am I kidding? I made it because I saw it in a movie. <laughs> Anyway, I was wondering if you'd like to be the first ever time traveler. It, it should be safe. Probably. Just, uh, get in. You can choose your destination. Just be careful not to mess with anything or bump into your past self. Okay, go on. Awesome. Uh, well last time I kind of went in order, so let's just go to Hotland. Let's do it. Let's go to the hottest land. Oh, hello, it's me. I saw myself. It's a poster about Minson's latest performance. Seems like the show already happened. Alright. I'm basically right behind myself. Isn't that a bad thing? It's a nice cream. I was gonna be like, what the fuck? I'm so happy. Nice cream is really changing the world. Wait, didn't you just walk past me? I did. You can't go down there. Can you go this way? Nope. Gotta f I gotta follow myself. I mean, my past self. Oh! Can I go into the Metaton Hotel? Sounds in your past self are in there right now. It's best not to go in. So this way is also off. Yep, it is off. How about with Braddy and Caddy? Are they even there? You decide not to go to see Braddy and Caddy just in case your past self has it yet. Alrighty. I guess there's not much I can do then, is there really? Is there? No, I couldn't go anywhere. Nope. Looks like I'm off. Back to the f future? Back to my present time? I guess that would be the right thing. Can you go back? I know I tested these before, but, you know, it doesn't hurt to check. Wow! Frisk! You did it! You are officially the world's first ever time traveler. That's amazing! Uh, well, free for you to go wherever you want now. When you're finished you're doing what you want, come back and talk to me. I have something I need, to, I need you to do for me. Have fun and make sure not to mess with anything. Hi Frisk, are you ready to do that thing for me? Uh, I mean, I don't know what it- No! Oh, alright, well come back when you're done. I'm not sure if it makes a significant difference if I go and do that other stuff. I think it's more just I can't really see because Hotland was the same, so let's just do whatever Alphys wanted f from us. Oh no! Will it not trigger it? I legit can't- t it's not happening. I guess we're gonna have to go back. Let's go to Snowden. Let's see. Look at the conveniently shaped- can I not hide behind the lamp? Oh, That saddens me. Why would they- well, the save would be there, obviously. Alright, let's see. So Sans is there. We're following Sans because that's- it's totally fine. No, yeah, it seems like everything is rarely the same. Not rarely, but- Hey, huh? Who's following me? Oh, it's you. I could have sworn you were already a couple of rooms ahead. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I'll be up ahead. See ya. Oh yeah, there we go. So, everything's just about the same. So I think it's good to say that, uh... Excuse me. Whew, I'm always such a sleepy head. God, such a lazy bones. Um... I, um, I relate to sons on a spiritual level. I'm always so tired. Just everything just... Just... <laughs> Sleeping is such hard work, you know. So let's go back and do the little favor for Alphys. For our dear friend Alphys, because... For those who haven't seen the first episode, you shall see now why, or what exactly she wants. Are you ready to do that thing for me? Yep. You ready? Great. So, uh, the thing that I wanted you to do is, uh... 
Do you remember when we all went to Asgore's castle to stop you and Asgore from fighting? And that certain part where Undyne and I... Or, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, uh, I want you to take a picture of that moment for me. Just like, just like, peek into the room and take a quick pic with your phone or something. And then immediately come back. What? Why aren't I doing this myself? Well, I... <sighs> I'm sorry. I probably squeal or something and draw attention to myself. <laughs> so you should do it. However, if you happen to run into someone from the pla from the past, they see and they see the machine, abort the machine entirely and try to get back home as soon as possible. O okay? Everything will be fine, I think. Get in the time machine. It will take you straight into Hasgore's castle. I hope there's actually something different. I don't know what would cause because there's apparently like eight endings. Eight of them? I'm assuming genocide is one of them, but I mean, there's one that I did, that I got, there's genocide, and then this is kind of doing the same thing, which kind of worries me, because I'm scared that this just might have been the, s the same reiteration from the last episode. Hee <laughs> hee, that idiot is in there with that stupid king right now. Now is my chance to take those souls and become god. No one can stop me. No one can- I, lo I love how he's monologuing to himself. <laughs> uh, well this is awkward. How did you... when did you... But you're in there with the king. What is that? That machine? Hang on. If you're here and in there, that must be a time machine. How could Flowey deduce these things? Would he even know of such thing as a time machine? God damn, Flowey. Wait, wait, with the time machine, I could, I could save Chera. Everything could go back to the way it used to be. But you, you're in my way again. This time, however, you won't be so lucky. Now die! Oh. Oh, was that there before? I can't seem to remember. But we'll act. We'll talk to him. You tell Flowey a pun about flowers. He looks confused. Oh look, the pellets are already green. What? It flickered to white. That's absolute bullocks. Um. You tell Flowey that the weather is nice today. He rolls his eyes. Dude. Do do none of the pellets are green. You tell Flowey that the weather is nice today. He rolls his eyes. Oh my god. For the love of Christ. For the love of rice. Jesus. I almost got smacked by that. If if the animation had ended the little sequence, I would have been like injured by that. Um I really hope this isn't the same thing. Or I don't know if maybe one dialogue with Sans, because Sans, you know, Sans is a very important character depending on like the things you, Jesus Christ, the things you say or all that jazz. <laughs> Look at Flowey's face. He's, <laughs> he's so annoyed. <laughs> oh, hey, and then I got smacked in turn for that. Perfect. Oh, these pellets are too powerful. This is absolute bullshit. I was about to say something, but then I immediately forgot what it was. Yeah. Oh! Oh, I died. Is it gonna say it refused, or do I actually died? Oh no! I actually died! Wanna try again? Hee <laughs> hee, alright then. Oh, interesting. Alright, it brought me right back to there. It saved there, huh? Well, whatever. Let's try and, uh. I fucking stood there. God damn it. No! I'm so good at this game! <laughs> Alright, let's talk. You're about to say something, but then immediately you forgot because you are. Because I am. A bit airheaded, obviously. Um. Oh, I didn't get the green pellet. Give me that. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that, uh, it's actually something different because it seems kind of similar and it's quite concerning. It was funny because when I had first played Undertale, I was like, he's just a flower. Like, just pick him up, take him from his roots, put him in a pot. He won't hurt anybody. But then, like, I think, I, I think it was based off the post. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I died. It's based off the post where, um, they talk about, like, the heights and that someone was able to figure it out. And, like, if the heights were, like, correct and the sprites and all this, Flowey is a tall flower. He would be, like, like, my height-wise, he'd probably be, like, up to, like, my, my knee, maybe? Like, he's tall! And, I mean, I'm not the tallest person ever, I'm, like, 5'2", but 
I mean, that that's pretty tall for a flower. I mean, then again, I also, every time I see sunflowers, I'm like, hey, look, it's flowing. Sunflowers are pretty long, actually, so. I don't know, do they ever say what kind of flower Flowy is? I mean, he's like a, a flower. But I mean, do they specify specifically, like, oh, he's a he's a daffodil. Obviously, he's not a daffodil, obviously. But, like, <laughs> you get me? Like, what flower is he? Or is it just a... He's a monster flower, that's it. They're, that's it, done. Which would make more sense, and I'd kind of like that, so maybe you could have the idea to choose what kind of flower he actually is. I love how annoyed he's getting. He's like, you fucking shitting me? Just, like, run into the pellets for the love of god. Nope. Nope. Yeah, his attacks are getting faster. Nope. Thank you, Megalovania, for helping me with this. Well, not Megalovania, exactly the song, but, um... The fight? Oh, Jesus. That was so close to each other. I still ran into that anyways, though. God damn it, Flowey. How do you not follow- how do you not get a fucking pun? Flowey, you need to get out more often, Lee. You really do. I only have one- one HP. I'm gonna- yeah, I died. Okay. Ah, uh, fuck. Damn. I have to res- Jesus Christ. Wanna try again? Hee <laughs> hee, alright then. Alright, we're gonna try this one time. If I die, I'm going to try a couple times to- Which, it, it's ridiculous because he wasn't- Or at least I didn't have as much trouble as I did last time. I know I died a couple times here and there. A couple, meaning like 20. But- I actually was able to surpass him. Now I just keep dying. If I die again, I'm just gonna skip through to like- this is really careless. But I feel like also at the same time, it's a little difficult to move around a bit. It's a bit stiff. But, uh, I'm not gonna blame the game for that. This is me. Shame on me. Because look, I'm avoiding them. It's not totally- Fuck. Woo! Oh no. I don't want- I don't want to die. Give me that. Thank you. Now I can take one hit. Just one, though. Only one. Alright. You tell Flower that today is a nice day. He's just like, well, go fuck yourself then. Like, look at him. He's just like, I'm not here for this shit. Do, 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 do. Oh my god, I smacked into it. Brilliant. Go me. And I smacked into that one. Alright. Nope. Okay. Um. Oh, fuck. I wasn't expecting that. And I ran right into that. It's beautiful. Why did I. Alright. Alright. We're skipping through this. Okay, guys, so I fought Flowey for like, I fought him like you know, 20 times now, and each time I'll get like almost right there, just right there, and the little persistent motherfucker will kill me. I've kind of had it up to here, and he's playing on my nerves. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna end this episode here. I probably, or I, at least I'm gonna check to see if there really is anything different, because I'm also worried that at the same time it's been all for naught. So, um,. I might not do- I may or may not do genocide run for- for upper tail, I don't know. Um, it's debatable. Um, cause I don't want to hurt anybody and also who knows how difficult that may or may not be. So, uh, and I don't know if you guys would want to see that, but regardless, thank you guys so much for watching. I, go, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and commenting, I really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye,